Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing a new feature, which is uh, the UK uh, telephone numbers. And we'll, we've integrated with, uh, with uh, Data Soap. Uh, that's what it looks like. So when you log in, you'll see something similar. I'll share a special link uh, to users uh, so you get the best price with, uh, with Data Soap. All right, so to add um, the integration, you go under Integrations, go to Data Soap. And you go ahead and just click add. Now you can add as many accounts as you want. So if you are going to do, um, let's say, if you have a client who's already got an account and they don't mind, or they want you to use their account, you can go ahead and add theirs, or you can add multiple accounts here. So you, I'm just going to go through and put in um, uh, Nick. Oh, sorry, just going to put in uh, Leads Hook Data Soap. Sorry, I forgot to mention the account is your email address for. Uh, the emails you use to to access a uh, data soap and the password is uh, the same password that you use to access uh, the data soap website all right okay so once you've entered in your username and password uh, click verify to make sure everything is working as expected so click that and you can enter in any number you want so if you're based in the UK you'll see the um, uh, the, the flag uh, for uh, Great Britain here and go ahead and just enter any number. So it's, it's a global uh, check, so you can put any number. So I'm just gonna put uh, the number for a, for a local shopping center, and it says that the integration is working. So you should see that message. And this basically means your integration has been set up correctly. Now to apply the integration, it's pretty simple. We go to decision trees, uh, add new, create from scratch. It's gonna go UK phone, numbers save you can use the phone number field in a form or in a node I'm just going to use it uh, for a, a specific question answer node and uh, that's the one you want to use uh, it says mobile but it actually means phone I'm just going to put phone and I'm going to go and add a custom field and there you go there's my phone field right there go ahead and select and uh, I'll save. Uh, let's just uh, preview this and see how that's uh, popping up. So there you go. Now, to at the moment, obviously, uh, the verification is not working. That's because I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, so go data validation. Click phone, select the data soft integration, and basically whichever you want to check for and then go ahead and select so if you want to do just mobile and don't worry about landlines and just tick those off leadsook will still verify that the format is correct but um, in the case of data soap you can also check for the if the landline is actually alive or whether it's uh, um, whether it's an active uh, active one so go ahead and click these to get a bit more information on what it is tps is uh is uh, the the number of people who've said like i don't want marketing messages so depending on what your needs are or your client needs are you can check against that ver that database as well for uh, for tps and just click that for further information what that is now here what you can do is if you what leadzook will do is leadzook will save uh, the information to a specific custom field uh, and let the person pass through to the next node so even if the number is wrong as long as the format is correct, I can still proceed. If you want to stop them from going ahead, then you re then you basically reject them. So these are the messages that you'll get back. Um, so if it says it's a dead number and you want to reject that, then then type in then just turn tick that checkbox and um, type in the error message. By default, we're saying try another number, but you go and go ahead and uh, edit that to something uh, to your liking. Just go ahead and just edit that. Right, and basically you can uh, um, you can actually uh, go and um, reject all of them, some of them, one of them. It doesn't matter. What happens is when you when you've um, uh, when you've uh, saved it, um, or you know what, I'm not going to do reject um, because I'm just want to. I'll just go ahead and do a quick test, and uh, I'll do. Um, I think the UK is going to be uh, it's only for UK HR is only for UK while landline is actually global so you can actually use this for to check your global numbers um, 
And when you do that, um, what's going to happen is if you go to system, if you go to uh, custom fields under system custom fields, uh, you're going to see, and let me just expand that out. So you're going to see a whole bunch of, um, there you go, there's the data soap validation. And I just want to do a live test now and show you what happens when you uh, use the data soap integration. Uh, so firstly, so the one thing you want to do is you have to activate. So go ahead and activate that. But before I do that, let me just confirm that I have ticked the right boxes for data validation. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just tick all of them. And uh, that's yep, perfect. All right now activate. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, direct link. So I'll find myself a UK number. Um, okay, if I just go forward, and that's gone ahead and proceeded with that. Uh, now I'll just go go back into leads, and I can see uh, that there was a lead. Um, let me actually search. That's this one here, the UK phone numbers. So you can see, um, firstly, the um, um, you can see the number. Uh, you can see that their phone is on. It's uh, registered with the TPS, no, 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 do not call, no. So you can call them. Um, and there's the carrier, who is UK3, whatever that is, and the uh, mobile country uh, code and network code. So you can see how it uh, adds quite a lot of uh, detail to uh, the your, your lead record. And this still allows you to then pass this record on to your client or to your autoresponder system or your SMS marketing system. All right, so I hope uh, that kind of shares with you how the whole uh, uh, thing works uh, with each lead that's captured. Thank you and uh, bye for now.